this is important if you want to have an international audience and increase your traffic to reach people beside your country of choice or beside your city of choice. Let me show you. If I go and I open my home page, you can translate your site almost automatically by using a plugin. Okay. Example, if I open this site that I just built about, it's just a sample site, a demo site. If you will realize that I installed a plugin that allows me pretty much to translate my content in any of the most spoken languages in the world that I've precisely chosen. Again, you can translate. If I click on French, the site is automatically translated in French. Okay. And so if a reader comes on my site and, you know, he can be in Germany, he will have the content delivered in German. That allows to touch into an international audience. And even you can even make it in such a way that it will automatically detect the browser language and easily change your content into that language. Let me show you how to install the plugin and actually how to activate that option. Let me go back and put that back in English. But essentially, if you go back in the back end of your website, what you want to do um, is that you want you go and plug in add new. And there is a plugin called GT Translate. It's this one. Translate WordPress with GT Translate. It says translate your WordPress uh, to make your website more multilingual. And it's very, very powerful. As you can see, 200,000 active installation, five star, almost 2000 reviews. So you install and you activate the next thing that you will want to do. You come here, settings, and then you click G translate. You scroll down and you want to say first, there are different settings that you will need to. You can click on auto switch to browser language. Okay, if you select this option, it will mean that if someone comes and has his browser in English, your site will automatically be translated in English. If someone has his browser set up in Chinese, your content will automatically be translated in Chinese and delivered to that person using powerful AI translation softwares automatically and for free. You can decide that you want the trans the translation language. If your website is, for example, in French, you can say, I want to translate from French to another language. And you will see that the widget will appear first in French and people can now select the languages they want. So suppose I want to select French. I select French and then I scroll down. I want, I want to put that at the bottom left, as you can see here, bottom and the left side. You can decide to put that as the bottom right or the top left or the top right position on your website. But I like the bottom left because it's non intrusive. And now I only selected about 10 languages that I know are the most spoken languages in the world Russian, uh, Portuguese, Spanish, French, blah, blah, blah. If you, and Arabic, if you want to um, select Arabic, you select, Ar you, you want to select the language of your choice, select the language of your country, whatever, select that. And then um, you, you scroll down here, alternate flag. If, if you're translating from English and then you're located in the US, you want to select, for example, for English, you want to select the USC flag. For English, you can select Canada flag. Or for Brazil, for Portuguese, you can either select Brazil flag. For Spanish, you can select maybe Argentina or Mexico flag, whatever. You select whatever you want and then scroll down and you click on save. Now you click on save. Let me just refresh the website so you see exactly what it will do. Now you see it's putting the translation language from French and then you can select your translation language. The reason why it has not translated this content is because my browser is in English. That's why it is still in English. But then if my browser was in another language, it will automatically translate. But I can also translate the content manually just by selecting the language of my choice. If I want to 
have it in Italian, it's going to be in Italian. And that's how first you touch the international traffic automatically. If you look at my international or if you look at my traffic on the MMS experience, it is an international traffic, meaning I get people to visit my site for almost every part of the world. You have Canada, the United States, you have Mexico, if you Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, Russia, China, Cameroon. The United States does not even constitute 50% of my traffic. It's about 30 to 40% of my traffic. And it's because I am tapping into an international audience. If you also look at another website of mine, which also has a high number of sessions and a high number of page views, what you will realize is that the United States also get only about 30% or 40% of my traffic is because sometimes I am targeting, I, I have set up my website in a way that international uh, readers can come on my site and still have the content delivered in a local language. But even if you visit other plugin over here, you will see that when you type GC translate or translate your website, two of the best plugins appear that GC translate that I talked about, but you also have this translate press. Okay. They translate your entire website directly from the front end and you it's multilingual. So you can either try that and both of them have like high amount of stars with a lot of good reviews. You can click on more detail to actually see what's the difference between the other one and this one. And what I always suggest when you're trying to install plugins, because you have to be careful about which plugin you install on your website so that you don't make it slow, is to read, look at the number of stars, but also read the reviews. Okay. Just read all the reviews. If they are five star, if they are one star, get some content and look at their screenshot look at whether they are providing some details about how it will look like at the end on the front end. So for example, this one, some people use this one because it's easier. You can easily click, have that on a drop down menu like this and select the language. And the other one is the other version that I just showed you, but there are a lot of plugins. You just have to be careful about which plugin you decide to put on your site because too many plugins can slow down your website. If you don't think it's worthwhile to translate your website, if you think it's just luxury, don't do it. Okay. This, all my videos are just to show you what's available out there, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to implement that strictly on your website because there are millions of plugins. And if you want to install millions of plugins on your site, believe me, you will disrupt the user experience so much. If you like the video, please, please subscribe to the channel. There are so many videos that I have already made. If you come under the back end of my channel, from online business building to Facebook, Instagram growth, blogging, SEO, e-commerce, affiliate marketing. If you go under videos, I have more than a hundred helpful tutorials. I try to make the tutorials as helpful as possible without leaving any detail behind. So I hope that's truly helpful. If it is, please visit other videos on my channel and subscribe to the channel because since last year, I have not missed a single week of uploading videos here. Even if I'm super busy, I still find time to make at least one video a week just for you guys. So please like the video, subscribe until next time. Take good care of yourself. I love you guys. Peace. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you.